Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to show you the settings for OBS Studio to record Google Meet or any other thing when you are using your laptop or desktop. So without any delay, let us begin the video. First, we have to open the Google Chrome browser and then type OBS Studio. You can see here OBS Studio, select it and then you can go directly for downloads or let us go for the OBS Studios main website homepage. So select OBS Studio homepage. Here you can see home, download, blog, help form. So without any unnecessary discussion, let us go to this Windows. So once you have to select Windows, support Windows 8.1, Windows 10 and Windows 11. Or if you are using Mac or Linux, you can download according to your requirement. So let me download it. So let me click Windows. Now you can see here OBS Studio is getting downloaded and once it get downloaded, now double click it. So once you double click, it will ask permission to your system will ask permission to allow OBS Studio installer select yes. Now let me just minimize this one. Now welcome to OBS Studio 27.2.4 setup. It's the latest version OBS Studio. If you don't know what is OBS Studio, it is a software used to record your screen. When you are conducting online classes or meetings using Google Meet, you don't have the recording facilities. So I already did this video, how to record Google Meet using OBS Studio. But some of you asked me how to set the proper settings to record the Google Meet. So in this video, I'm going to confine myself to only to show you the settings after downloading OBS Studio's latest version. So now we have to click next and then we have to accept the terms and conditions. Okay, select next. Then where do you want to install? If you want to install in C, you can install in C. So let us go for installation. So once it get installed, I'll show you the basic settings to start recording Google Meet or any other thing. Even if you are doing some PPT presentation also or any other work which you are doing on your laptop or on desktop, you can use this OBS Studio and you can record that one. So let us see completed setup. So launch OBS Studio 27.2.4. So let us click finish. So once you click finish, you can see here auto configuration wizard use information specify what you want to use the program for optimize for streaming recording is secondary optimize just for recording i will not be streaming i will only be using the virtual camera so recording uh, if you prefer only to record google meet then you have to select optimize just for recording or if you want to use obs studio for streaming live streaming you can use this obs studio but our topic is only for the recording so let us select optimize just for recording i will not be stream okay then the auto configuration wizard will determine the best settings based on your computer specs and internet speed this can be run at any time by going to the tools menu so automatically this wizard will set up this obs studio according to the configuration available in your system so without any first let us go to next now see here video settings specify the video settings you would like to use use current it's 190 into 108g hd if you want to use hd you can use otherwise you can go with the lowest pixel or capacity but let us go with the system preferred so use current and then fps whether you want 60 or 30 so you can go with uh, either 60 or 30 automatically it was set by the obs studio let us not disturb that note the canvas base resolution is not necessarily the same as the resolution you will stream or record with you actually stream or recording resolution may be scaled down from the canvas resolution to reduce resources usage or byte rate requirement so let us not worry about all these things let us select next now final result testing completed so this auto configuration wizard tested the system whatever the features available in the system according to the configuration now what do we have to do is if you want to go for reading you can go for reading recording encoder hardware installed recording quality high quality medium file size then base canvas resolution 1920 into 180 
1080 pixel that means it would be our HD quality and FPS frames per second is 60 that would be with high quality so let us select here apply settings so once you applied settings automatically the wizard set everything for you to start recording now how to record now he, here you can see i am already using wondershare filmora 11 software to record this video so that's why you can see even obs studio also recognizing i recognized the desktop audio i have connected this desktop audio so automatically the um, obs studio wizard will recognize that desktop connections your mic and all those things if you have installed webcam also in your desktop it will recognize or if it is a laptop then automatically it will recognize the camera now what are the few settings you have to learn here is uh, right side you can see here controls and then start streaming if you want to use obs studio to start streaming then you have to select this start start streaming or if you are using this obs studio only for recording then this button you have to select so once you select start recording it will start recording whatever is on your screen but if you want to be more specific then let us come to the sources here if you see you don't have any sources click the plus button below or right click here to add one so if you want to add a source like if you want only the screen to be recorded not your webcam then you can select only the one source but if you want both your webcam and as well as the source which is on the screen display must be recorded then you have to select that one so for that let me just go here select plus now here you can see audio input capture you can select one source audio output capture browse that means whatever you are browsing it will be capturing then color source display capture game capture if you are using obs studio for gaming recording game recording that also possible image image slide now media source scene text video capture device window capture and group depreciated so i'll not make it much complicated this is a small video so what do you want to capture you want to capture display whatever is on screen if you are doing the screen recording using google meet if you are using obs studio to record google meet then what is basic you have to select a display capture so now display capture create new display capture add existing just let us make sure source visible select ok now you can see i am using wondershare filmora 11 for recording and the moment i selected the uh, display source it recognized that one so capture method you have to go for automatic display as i told you it is full hd and then you have to select ok select ok now whatever is shown on the screen is getting recorded in this obs studio once you select start recording and then if you want even your uh, webcam should also work in obs studio while recording google Meet. generally we don't want obs studio uh, again camera to record when you are recording google meet but in case if you want to record any other thing and you want your obs studio to record capture your video also then go this again plus symbol select this one and come to video capture device i'll select the video capture device but i don't think my uh, webcam will capture the same video let us see what will happen because i already connected my webcam for wondershare filmora but if when you try to capture video using two different softwares it may not allow us but let us try once so video capture device now create new video capture device select ok then it will ask which camera you want to use so see uvc camera is already being used in wondershare filmora so that's why it is not uh, accepting so when you select this one if you have already obs uh, studio if you have connected already webcam to your system automatically it will recognize and then you have to select ok so let us click ok so these are the basic settings how to capture your video display and how to capture the display on your screen then uh, if you want to know the duration here if you can see here 300 minutes it will record continuously for 300 minutes or if you want to increase also you can increase i suppose then after this what is simple you have to select the start recording button you can see here start recording so once you select start recording 
now i have selected start recording now it is getting recorded even in my obs studio also now after completion of your recording again you have to click stop button so now the obs studio has stopped recording your recording google meet or whatever you are doing now how to know where the file has been stored now come to here file here you can see file select file once you select file you will find show recordings option select this show recording options it will take you to the folder or place where the recording has been properly saved so let us click this one and let us see whether this is now properly I have recorded. selected start recording now it is getting recorded even in my obs studio also now after completion of your recording again you have to click stop okay so here you can see it has been saved and you can even change the path according to your requirement you can create a folder and in that folder you can save that file so all files will get saved into that proper into that particular folder so this is the minimum uh, requirements we uh, should learn minimum settings we should learn to operate obs studio to capture display on screen or um, display uh, pro, um, exclusively this video is for google meet recording using obs studio so now there are so many other settings also there if you want to learn these things download it and it is not a uh, rocket science to not to understand if you spend some time on this obs studio you will definitely learn how to use it better so thanks for watching this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment i upload videos on youtube take care bye bye thanks for watching this video if you have come to the end of this video i believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic so now you can check this out video or watch this one click this video it will take you into another video